Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading and it is for Thursday. It is for Thursday the 22nd of, Oct of October, yes, 2020. <laughs> oh, losing track of the days of the week at the moment. Um, so for Thursday the 22nd of October 2020 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. Um, and remember my readings can last longer than when they're released generally by a few days okay so we have number 29 open intuition seek clarification this is very much about trusting your intuition you're being given clarity in how you need to move forward decisions choices paths okay so angels what is the message please that people need to hear for thursday the 22nd of october 2020 Okay, so yeah, how you take action. You're being guided in how you take action. Okay, let's pull one more card. Any other message, please, angels? Isn't that beautiful? We've got abundance. See the gold or the gold that that angel is holding? It feels like it's being offered to you. So it feels like there is some level of abundance that you need to, you're being guided towards. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Spirit is guiding you every step of the way here. Trust your intuition, that's certainly what I will say. Do you, and Your intuition is something immediate and it's not something that deviates from what it is. So it doesn't change. Um, it stays true to what that thought is, that impulse is. Okay. So what do we have, please, angels, spirits, guides? What is the message that people need to hear, please? Thursday, okay, Thursday, the 22nd of October. Yeah, <laughs> we've got the Three of Cups. Very nice energy. You know, I kind of pulled two, so I'm going to go with it. I've got the Ten of Pentacles and I have the Two of Wands. Six of Cups, the Sun, wow, Five of Wands, and we have the Four of Wands, and again the Ace of Pentacles is bottom of the deck. So we have the Three of Cups, which is to do with celebration, joy, happiness, reasons to celebrate. These people are celebrating the fact that the winter's over, the spring is here, and there is new growth, new reward, the harvest is it's almost kind of like the fruits of their labor are beginning to pay off. So it definitely feels in this energy that something is beginning to happen that you've been working hard towards. Um, and again, this is about life, energy, things happening. Um, and you know, the sun is a card of celebration, joy, good news, uh, material success as well. So it feels very poignant that there's, there's something good happening. Something that maybe you had hoped would happen. It feels like it's beginning to happen here. And there are some kind of choices or decisions that you make because it feels for some of you that it's going to affect your home and family. The five of wands uh, can be about conflict. It's petty struggle, petty arguments. So it feels in this energy that whatever is happening here, it feels like it's causing some conflict and you're at a crossroads in terms of which way you need to go. It feels like there's some argument or conflict that something is causing and again it feels like to do with a long-term relationship, committed relationship, family dynamic. Um, it doesn't feel that there's, in this instance, it doesn't feel like there's conflict in the family but it feels like what is happening here in terms of what you were hoping would happen is causing some conflict and tension. Because, you know, it definitely feels that whatever this conflict intention is, 
you know the six of cups is reconnection joy happiness i mean it can sometimes be a card of nostalgia um but you know it, it kind of feels in this energy with the four of wands that someone's finding the happy equilibrium happy balance in this situation in terms of the home family again the four of wands is to do with the happy home the family um relationships marriage committed relationship a home you've built together so it feels in this instance that something is happening and i think it's this ace of pentacles so because there is some choice to make but it feels like there's a choice to make for you as a family or you as a couple because this can be about relocation moving home which might be causing some tension. It can also be to do with a new job opportunity that may bring some change. It could be to your physical location, maybe you have to move for a job. Um, it can also be to do with, um, like I said, new job, new opportunity that may bring some changes to your, to your, to your home dynamic. There may well be some alterations or um, adaptation that needs to happen and it's caused some conflict or tension so it feels like this can also be about setting up your own business going your own way it might be now is the time something's happened where now is the time to act so that might be causing some tension as well but again I'm going from instability which is the five you know this is about something that's disrupted the the solidity the foundation of your relationship to getting back on track you know so i definitely feel this energy of, of okay it seems to be that there's some agreement in how you're going to move forward so i'm going to use the black and gold tarot deck just to pull another card some opportunity is coming in and it, it is definitely it could be to do with either moving home because i'm seeing the home here I'm feeling that quite strongly. It might be that you have to move because again, the two of wands can be somebody who maybe wants to go for it. Um, there is some, it feels like there's a big decision to make as a couple or as a family in terms of how you're gonna move forward. But it feels like, you know, the happiness is being restored here and you're getting clarity in terms of how you're going to move forward in this situation okay because remember the two the two of ones can be stepping into unknown territory it can be to do with a new vision but it can be unknown territory as well so it's some powerful decision that you need to make it feels as a family or as a couple but it's definitely linked maybe to getting more money um yeah So let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the indecision. And it feels like some kind of decision needs to be made here. And the message is you make the decision based on your intuition. So sometimes this can be about I don't have the full information the full facts of the situation or it might well be that you're not at that point to actually make some kind of decision or choice so any other advice please for angels for its guides any other advice I mean there's a message that things will become clear in how you need to move forward because some of you will be getting the clarification most definitely and how you need to take action towards this abundance that you're being offered by the universe god the divine that is the ace of, of pentacles it feels like there's some beautiful gift that you're being offered but it feels like it's going to affect your family your home dynamic in some way so it feels all beautiful there's great news there's you know but there's some kind of obstacle that you need to overcome here And sometimes, you know, the Three of Cups, I mean, this is Mercury and Cancer. Now, Cancer is to do with the home, the family dynamic. And again, that mercurial energy can be to do with communication. So again, I'm feeling that with this energy too. You need to talk this through further. 
but I definitely feel that there will be some clarification in terms of which way you're going to go okay so any other message please yeah yeah you will get through this I feel that there will be some I mean this is the nine of cups is celebration joy happiness contentedness uh, your wish coming true so I definitely feel that there will be some whatever this situation is I mean this can be about gratitude um, it can be to do with uh, contentment, satisfaction, which is coming true. I definitely feel in this energy that you'll get clarity. And again, that's the red hat. Sometimes you see the red hat there, though you don't in the black and gold. Um, but I feel the red hat is very much linked with this as well. Sometimes you see a red hat here. And again, I can see the red hat here. Yeah, this is the way we're going to go. This is the decision that we're going to make. And again, I've got the star bottom of this deck, which is the Divine Wish Fulfillment card. But this is about hope and it can be about new world energy. It can be the new vision, um, blessings from the universe, but it can be to look towards a new vision, a new, a new goal. So I definitely feel that this is going to become clear in which way you need to go. Powerful energy. It feels like it could be to do with moving home or it could be something that's coming into your world that is causing some change in to do with your it could be your physical reality your home your property um it can also be to do with some adaptations that you need to make okay so what do we have as a final message okay i'm going to use these cards final message please for this reading thank you Yeah, you see, <laughs> lion, honour, honour your soul and celebrate its journey. The journey. So again, it feels like you are going to get clarity in which way you need to go. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, a wonderful day for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.